take a look at this display that I got from AliExpress and this screen is special why by the way first the price it's around two to three US dollars and it's 1.69 inch color TFT display module HD IPS LCD LED screen 240 by 280 pixels resolution SPI interface with driver ST7789 controller for Arduino and what is special about this display let me show you by the way I got this couple of days ago and I mentioned that I will show, show to you new code projects and of course I have already prepared them and what is special about this screen it have round corners that is very very cool all right by the way this is version 3 the link will be in description below so you can check it and it's not expensive 3 US dollars for this kind of gadget is awesome I'm using a breadboard and <coughs> this module is USB 32 general module and I have already made the connections by the way in description below you can download the codes that you, you will see in today's video also you, you can download the libraries and I'm gonna place it just like this okay and I have already hit the upload button and I'm gonna wait the screen to be turned on and take a look the first test code is hello world but what you see the hello world changing colors for in two seconds or three seconds take a look this is the first test code and the screen is working properly nice let me show you the second example now but before that i need to explain something in Arduino IDE software you need to install this library TFT ISPI and using this library you will make the display to work properly another thing these two files need to be added to the TFT library and let me show you how when you open the library that is in Arduino <coughs> it, it's in computer documents Arduino libraries and in TFT library you need to replace this user setup select and also the other file you need to add it right here and here it is at the top setup ID 31 and it's for the driver ST7789 using Arduino module ESP32 remember this without <coughs> Uh, adding the files in user setups and replace replacing the user setup select the display won't work please do that first and this file is for wiring uh, the wires between ESP32 and the ST7789 screen and here are the, all the connections also this file will be in the in description below so you can download it and after installing the library and replacing the files that I mentioned in Arduino IDE you only paste the code and hit upload and that code will be sent to the ESP32 module and let's see now the more complex code and also it's a test code and you can see a bunch of shapes circles squares re rectangles but in many colors and isn't this beautiful with that round edges of the screen this is the top module beautiful take a look and they are moving nice 
and let's share my coffee page where you can support my work and support electronics you can send me one coffee or more coffees if you want you can do it one time or you can do it monthly you can write your price or coffee here your nickname your message or make it monthly so i can receive every month your support and here are my latest supporters this one is ed milson who sent me 30 dollars thank you very much and he wrote i love your videos thank you for outstanding jump for those who love electronics and i reply hello ed milson and big thanks for for the support seti tech also sent me 10 us dollar thank you sir for sending me and he wrote thanks for your videos i love them frody i have already mentioned in my previous video and one more time thank you to all of you who support my work and love electronics and right now i am waiting to be uploaded the more complex code to this screen and to the esp32 module also this module will be included in description below so you can check it and buy it from aliexpress and it's not expensive it's around three to five us dollars and only five seconds more to the code yes they stops they stop moving because the code is uploaded and this is more complex take a look oh it's it's this way it's tachometer Ooh, for speed take a look at the design it's more complex but it's more beautiful you can make your own design for this kind of display because this one have 240 by 280 pixels on small screen and that's why the resolution is so good oh i love it i can play with this gadget all day long and make codes and getting fun and learning something new of course learning electronics learning to make codes with little bit help of ai and you can make a test code just like this one i'm waiting the last code that i will show you to be uploaded to the to the module and in my next video i'm preparing new codes for e-paper or e-ink displays that work without power without battery take a look once you program it and send the code it will stay here for a couple of months and i love this e-paper displays beautiful beautiful also they will be included in the description below so you can check it and where is the code it took it took to oh here it is oh take a look so many colors rainbow rainbow effect and it's moving can you see it but very slowly changing colors and this is the way that you can see the screen what is capable of beautiful all right okay that was all for today video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget you can send me one coffee thank you see ya